Hi friends and welcome back to Techie Anshi. Today on my channel we are going to explore how to build dynamic geographical maps that can change based on your selections. I hope you like this video. Without further ado, let's get right into it. So to begin with, let's first connect to our data. In this case, this is the world's indicator data that comes by default in Tableau. And you have a lot of different types of data in here, which is, uh, which can be segmented by the geography. So I have region and country region. However, as you can see, the region is basically a text field and not a geo field. So we can convert this to a geographical role using the country and region. And that way, these both can be a geographical field in the data. Right now I've pulled in the region and just for now, let me just simply pull in one of the measure for now. Let's just take the sum of birth rate and you can see it's showing by each of the region. We can convert this to a map using show me. And once you click on it, it will start showing you a simple world map with all of these regions that you have in here marked on the map itself. Right. As you can see, these are bubbles right now and the size is basically based on the birth rate. Now, you can either have the birth rate to the size or to the color shelf. When you move the birth rate to the color shelf, the chart will change and it will become a filled chart rather than a bubble chart. So you can see that this is now like a filled chart instead of the bubble chart that you were seeing before, right? You can adjust the size of the bubbles on the map and that way you can, you know, see uh, bigger sizes if you would want to. And you can further expand of the regions to regions country and edit the colors on the map so that they can uh, be more brighter as you would want uh, some of them to highlight right so this is how you can like play around with a map this is a basic geo map in tableau and this is something i think most of you would already know right now uh, as you can see this is how we have been able to build a simple bubble map that can expand and collapse so that functionality is something we are able to achieve right uh, you can also add in any kind of borders that you would want to on your uh, on the bubble so that way it can you know it can pop up a little bit more uh, you can have different colors in combination so that they can uh, look great on the visual so that's something also that you can further explore on on any kind of geo maps that you are building now we'll look at how we can make this din dynamic and select a measure right the birth rate is a fixed measure right now but we want to select different measures so for that i'm creating a parameter as you can see and here we can put in all the things that we would want to select in order to change the measure so i'm just giving a few measures from the source like the birth rate the gdp the total population we can any give anything else we can also like say for example just take in uh yeah let's just take the hours to do the taxes and then we can also maybe take life expectancy for now right so these are some of the measures that we can have to switch right and you can see i have i have a simple parameter control that i'm building which is of a string type and i'm giving all the values that it can it can take right so once i've decided on that i'll click ok and i will show this parameter on my view and i'll change this to a single select value so that i can see all the values at one go here in this uh, in this view itself Right now, in order for this parameters to work, we need to create a calculation and that calculation needs to take this uh, value and select the right measure. Right. So here is the calculation. So what you have to do is you can write a simple if calculation where you can say that if the measure that is selected is birth rate, then the field that needs to be used is the birth rate. Right. Else if you. Uh, uh, you have to again specify for each and every combination that you have in the parameter so you have to just keep going with each and every value that you have specified in the parameter so birth rate is done let's take gdp you will say gdp over here and then we can continue going with the others so for now for the total population we can write the third condition so we can again say if the select measure is total population then we will take the field which is the population total yeah that field and we have to again do it for the hours to do tags 
and we will mention the field name over here right hours to do tax and then we have life expectancy male so that is a default thing but if you see this is errored out now why did it error out if you look at the error in the calculation here below it says that it has found of like there's a string mis there's a mismatch in the data type right there's something that's float and certain thing that is string and i know that hours to do tax this is a string and not a number right so this is something we can't have in our condition we will have to remove this for it to work so again this is a small learning that when you have measures you can only have measures like a similar data type but if you have string then you can have string so only a single measure single data type can be part of the calculation this is what i would was wanting to show you now you can bring this calculated field in the color and the size shelf and you can see that now the now this visualization is showing you by the selected you know measure the whole map is changing by what you've selected over here you can edit these colors you can pick and choose the colors that you would want as we were doing it before um the only one thing that we can't do together is like we can't have like separate uh, you know i think we can still have separate colors by measures and the gradients as well but for now i think this is great we can just simply use a similar color to represent the measures and then the size uh, is the color is based on the size right so yeah you can also further add different background layers to your map so right now you see that the map is light in color you can have a darker map if you would like that if it matches your aesthetics you can also have a normal map and then further to it you can have a satellite map uh, this is a great uh, kind of a visual if some if some people might like this so you can like have different opacities of your colors you can edit the colors and you know choose something that's more bright on this particular uh, satellite map view something maybe like a red and then you can also like wash out the map behind so that it is you know not very very prominent to the eyes right so you can adjust the color opacities and borders and all of these as well on your map and this way you can build something that's very aesthetically uh, looking great but is also not just not just something that looks good but also like is very very dynamic in nature so as you know this can uh change and adapt to the measure that you're selecting you can choose any measures from here and ed edit this particular visual and then you can also further expand and collapse right so you can uh, look at regions and country uh, all of that and then further expand and collapse as well right so i hope this was something interesting that you really liked watching if you did then please don't forget to hit on the subscribe button do like this video i will keep coming up with more such in the future until then i will see you on the next one bye bye